There is nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. We will control all that you see and hear. I'm not that shocked by him. I'm a bit shocked. Yes? Oh, yes. So the home tech would be to deprive you of your British citizenship? Yeah. Yeah. But I've heard that other people are being sent back to Britain. So I don't know why my case is any different to other people. Because you're an actress. Hey, cheeky bugger. Little cheeky bugger. Hey? <clears throat> Who controls the news? ITV, BBC, CNN, Fox. It's all frigging fake news. Completely. I tell you what, challenge any bugger to go along this street. All right. Tell me if you can find some bugger like this who's looking healthy. Hey. Eh? Like this, well fed, no stress, no nothing. Looks as though she's having a life of Riley. Okay? And this thing here, in other um, pieces to camera that she's done, folds down over her face. Now, if you can see, see this here, you can then understand, as it is in the other footage, where she's sitting outside on the picking chair with a bundle of rags on her lap, pretending to be a baby, she couldn't see through this. So why is she wearing this? She can't see through it. It is the norm to have two different things. One is to have this with eye holes in it, spy holes as I call them, so they can see where they're going, all right? Secondly, there's one whereby they have the full face covering, which she shouldn't have. I'll come back to that in a second. The full face covering as a veil, a black, it's like, well, it is a net, it goes over here so they can see out but nobody can see their face nobody can see their face all right but they can see out now it's to obscure the face because apparently it is very enticing very sexual you see to, so they've got to cover their face so why has she uncovered her face and then to cover her face she is supposed to be permanently covered. And by exposing your face, my dear, you're exposing the fact that you are well fed, well cared for, clean, happy, and you're just a crisis actor again, or actress to be precise. Let's carry on. Was it just because I was on the news four years ago? <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> Kind of heartbreaking. Oh, heartbreaking. Nice nails. You know, this she is the best looking as far as the physical structure is going, all right, than most people that we meet in society. 
Someone who hasn't got nail polish on. Well, she probably has nail polish on. You ladies will understand. Maybe it's just clear varnish. What's this? What's this? What's this here? A pile of picking rags. Supposed to be a baby in there. I thought it would. My family made it sound like it would be a lot easier for me to come back to the UK when I was speaking to them in bowels, but it's kind of... Uh, where were you speaking to them? Hang on. Let's go back one just in case. I was speaking to them in bowels, but... But, I'm sorry, I, if somebody could tell me what that is. I was speaking to them in bowels, but it's kind of... It's kind of hard to swallow. Yeah, it's a bit upsetting and frustrating. I feel like it's a bit... What the heck is this? Sorry about the background, there's a fella next door. Um, what's this? Please tell me what this is. It's just baby... Baby out with clothes. But where's the head? Where's the body? Where's the hands? Come on, where is it? And she's making... Making it move. With her hands. Frustrating. I feel like it's a bit unjust on me and my son. And your son? Yeah. Well, I see your son. But the, but you've done this to your son. I mean, this is a consequence of your actions. Uh, I don't know what to say. Well, the check's in the post. I don't know what to say. What? what? Oh, so where's your wedding ring? Wedding band, is that it? Huh? Get the infidels wedding band? Why, I can tell you what, she, she's certainly very well nourished, isn't she? Eh? What would your message to the Home Secretary be? <coughs> Get the check and Maybe the review my case again and have a bit more sympathy for me and understanding. <laughs> And, you know, yeah. maybe give me another reason, give me a reason why they see me as a threat, yeah. like, to the UK. Really? My husband is from Holland, he has family in Holland, maybe I can ask for Susan. Uh, my husband and family in Holland. What the hell is this? Hey? Oh, come on, you ladies, you mothers, you fathers, come on. I mean, we all know. Those of us that have, have families, have kids, bring them up. We know darn well, do we not, that this isn't a biggie baby. Look at it. Hey? Eh? She's balancing it on her wrist. And it isn't it. It's not a baby. It's not a child. It's not a human being. There's something that they plonked in there. But this here, we automatically know is not a baby. Second thing. The baby, let's say, let's say there's a baby in here, all right? For, because this is what they're presenting to us. There's a baby in here, her son. Well, the poor bugger is deformed, for a start. Stunted. There's no legs, no arms, no big in head. There's something here. Is it a piece of bacon or something sticking out? But there's nothing to define a child. Is there? I mean, a, a, a baby is totally defined. Now, the thing is, she had clothing previously. Which would define a baby, but wasn't used. Secondly, okay, apart from balancing your child, and partly on your lap, but basically you don't, you, we, we, we don't treat children like this, don't treat babies like this. Okay, the thing about it is, there's no crying, there's no movement and no crying from a baby. A baby listening to this picking lot would be crying and moving, feet going, arms going, head going. There isn't any. You see, as babies, as we are, 
when we are brought into this world, naturally, are strangers to this world. And we cry out because of the noise and the humdrum of it all and of a different world that we have just been brought into. We've been brought out of a calm, peaceful world within the womb. There we were born. We were born. Even as thoughts are born in the intellect, the understanding, the reason to bring them about. But they don't actually come forth until we exercise them. The same with a child. A child is born in the womb. Life begins in the womb. Okay, sod government. Government is a vile, 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 wicked system of the devil's excrement. If we are going to submit ourselves to government, British government in particular, that government that is a standard for evil, then we are in a sorry state. When they sit as God, saying that, oh, so many weeks, you can kill that inside because it's not life. Well, how can you kill something that isn't pig in life if you're saying it's not life? Well, it's not a baby. Well, what is it then? A dog? A plant pot? Oh, I'd love to get hold of one of these MPs who believe in the murder of the innocents. Ah, uh, yeah, well, we're going to, we are going to give the, you the right. Who the hell are you, you chinless bastards, you murderous scumbags? Who are you? Huh? What about God? Oh, I don't believe in God. Yeah, but you're acting as God. You're sitting in the place of God over life and death, telling people they can get rid of of this fetus. <laughs> That's what we call it, you see. Because we won't call it anything else. But a fetus is alive, isn't it? That's why you need to kill it. And being a fetus, what else is it? Hey? Eh? The thing that you don't want to own up to. It's a baby. It's life. It's a child. It's defenceless. It should be looked after by the mother and the father. Particularly the mother who's carrying it. Care for it. Be nature to it. Natural. Natural feelings and affection and love for that which is in within that shall come forth in time. Okay? There is nothing here of a crying baby, shape of a baby, struggling of a baby. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. In Holland, if he gets sent back to prison in Holland, I can just wait for him while he's in prison. But there's no other option than that. And your message for your family? You know, I want to apologise a lot for what I put them through. But right, right now, I really need their help to get me back because I really, I can't stay here. Why? I can't raise my son in this camp. Why? I don't. You've destroyed their lives. Yes. Yeah. As an actress, you've destroyed their lives. Hey. Haven't you? <laughs> oh, that's my daughter. Oh, what's she doing there? Shut up and take the check. Oh, okay then. You know, I travelled with some of them to Istanbul oh, to retrace your footsteps, and, and, you abs and they're devastated and they're heartbroken. Yeah. And that's a result of your actions. Yeah. Are you cold, dear? Look at it. That's what people tell me this is a baby. I mean, how do you feel about that? I, f I saw the, you know, I saw the, you know, the, yeah. on the internet, the news and stuff, and... She's, she's rocking this, and there's nothing in it. If she's rocking a friggin' baby, you know very well, and I know very well, that um, the baby would be crying. Because she's disturbing it. I'd love to, I'd, I really would, and I'm, I'm, you know, you mothers and fathers, 
must be laughing your pigging socks off at this, eh? Secondly, and the last thing about this baby, it's dead. It's dead. If this was a real, true life story with a baby in arms, this baby is dead. Now I said this yesterday in a meeting and there's a fellow there that he's reprobated in his mind. He cannot accept the truth. And when you present the truth to him, because he cannot accept the truth, his mind is set to a bias of falsehood. And you should see him struggling when you present the truth. Here's the evidence. Tell me what you are seeing. Don't listen to me about what is here? Tell me, sir, what you are seeing here. What are we seeing here? A dead baby, if this again was a true story, true news. Because there is, if this were the head, it's covered. It's therefore smothered the baby. Do you know many children have died because, and especially in um, wartime, when mothers have accidentally put their hands over the face of their child to stop the child from screaming out. And it's only been a couple of minutes and the baby suffocated. They're very, very gentle. Babies are very gentle. You stick your hand over your mouth, over your mouth. And it goes under the nose. You try that. See how long you could last. Press it. Hmm? Press it without moving your lips. Press it. Won't last very long. I'll give you four or five minutes maybe. You'll be big and struggling at that. But this child here is smothered by the blankets. If it were a child. And it's not a child. Therefore, this is fake news again. Every time we come to news, we have to check to see if it matches reality. She should now, if this was real news, she should now be arrested for murdering a child. Equally, the nations of this world should be standing up and denouncing this as a right so-and-so for murdering a child. But no, what are they doing? They're listening to the voice of this one. And they're listening to the media. Oh, the news doesn't tell lies. It's the news. Yes, but look at the news, examine the news, examine what is going on. If people did that, they'd be outraged. They'd have been standing up in their millions and saying, this is not a baby. Because if this is a baby, she should be arrested for murder. And these buggers are allowing her to have a dead baby, to have murdered a dead, to murder a baby. Come back in a second.